Welcome all my students to our new session. Students, what you can see here? This is a cube. Yes. Suppose we take its length, breadth and height as 1 cm each. This is 1 cm, this is 1 cm and this is 1 cm. Now, let's make it small and take 4 of them. Let's join them. So, we have this as a wall. Now, let's take 4 more students. So, here we have 4 more cubes and let's join them together. And what you can see here, this is again a cube with length, breadth and height 2 cm. Right, this is 1 plus 1, 2, 1 plus 1, 2, 1 plus 1, 2. And how many cubes are here students? How many cubes? 1, 2, 3, 4, 4 plus 4, 8. And we can write this number 8 as what? 2 into 2 into 2 which is 2 cube and that is equal to 8. So, these 8 cube student is equal to 2 into 2 into 2 which can be written as 2 cube. Again, let's take another example. Here we have a big cube. Let's make it smaller size. Okay. Now, let's have, yes. So, here we have how many? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9 cubes. Okay. Now, let us join them together and put it like this. Okay. Now, let's have 9 more and we will place them like this. Let's have 9 more cube students and now we will make a bigger cube. Whose length, breadth and height is how much? 1, 2, 3, 3 cm, 3 cm, 3 cm. And how many cube students? 9 plus 9 plus 9, that is 27. Now, understand this thing students, that we can write this number of cubes as 3 into 3 into 3, which is nothing but 3 cube and that is equal to 27. So, when we were forming a cube of 2 cm, we used 8 cubes. Here we use 27. Observe, observe these two cube students again and this number 2 cube equal to 8, 3 cube equal to 27, right? Okay, now the important point here is that this number 8 can be splitted as 2 cube, 2 into 2 into 2. Again, this number 27 can be splitted as 3 into 3 into 3. And in mathematics students, we say that these numbers 8 and 27 are nothing but perfect cubes or cube numbers. The way we had perfect squares, remember square numbers. In the same way we have perfect cubes, cube numbers. Here you have power 3, 2 cube, 2 3 times, right? In perfect squares it was 2 square. 3 square. Here we have 2 cube. Okay, 2, 3 times, 3, 3 times, right? So these numbers 8 and 27 are perfect cubes. So let us take numbers. Let us take in a reverse way. Let us take some number and find their cubes. How we will find their cube? We will multiply this number 3 times, right? Okay, so we can write this as 1 cube and 1 into 1 into 1 is 1. Let's take another number 2. Now, what do we mean by cube of 2? 2 is getting multiplied 3 times. So, it becomes 2 cube and that is 8. Okay. So, let's have all the numbers students because now these cubes are very important. So, 3 cube is 27. 3 threes are 9 threes are 27. Let's have another number. So, we have 4. 4 cube is 64. I will tell you students, you have to remember cubes of 1 to 10 numbers. They are very, very important. The way we have remembered the squares of 1 to 30. Remember, that is very, very important. Similarly, you should remember cubes of 1 to 10. Okay, let's take uh, a number 5. So, 5 cube is how much? 125. Okay, let's take 6. Now, 6 cube means what? 6, 6 are 36, 6 are 216. So, 6 cube is 216. Now, let's talk about 7. So, 7 cube is 343. Let's take another number, students. 8. 8 cube is given by 512. Let's have another number, 9. 9 cube is given by 729. 
and 10. 10 cube is pretty simple. That is 1000. Now, what we are going to learn in this session is very important, students, because not only we have understood cubes, but we will also see some properties and patterns. Okay. So, are you ready to understand the properties? Let's talk about the unit digit. The way we talked about unit digit in squares, let's see the unit digit in cubes of these numbers. Just observe them. So, here we have 1, here 8, here we have uh, 7, here we have 4, 64, here we have 5, here we have 6, here we have 3, here we have 2, here we have 9 and here we have 0. So let's see what all we can have. We can have 0, 1 also possible, 2 possible, 3 possible, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Wow. That means we can have at unit place any of these numbers. Any of these numbers is possible in cube numbers. Let's see only the numbers which are even students. 2, 4, 6, 8, 10. In that case, they will end up, the unit digit will be either 8, 4, 6, 2 or 0. So, what does it mean? It means that cubes of even numbers are even. If I will take even number, say 2, definitely its cube will also be even. If we will take 8, its cube will always be even. You want to check odd numbers? Okay, so let's hide our even numbers this time, students. So here we have odd numbers, all the odd numbers. Okay, so let's look at them carefully. See, so here unit digit is 1, 3, 5, 7, 9. So cubes of odd numbers are always odd. Very easy. Odd numbers, odd. Square numbers, square. Okay, so if I ask you some questions, students, tell me the unit digit of this. 3, 2, 3, 1 whole cube. What do you need to do? We can have more examples like 1, 2, 5 whole cube, 5, 7, double 2 whole cube. What exactly we are going to do? We are just going to see the last digit 1 and multiply 1 into 1 into 1 is 1. So, unit digit is 1. Right? Okay. Now, check here 5. 5, 5 is 25. 5 is 125. Unit digit is 5. 2, 2, 2 is a 4, 2 is a 8. So, unit digit is 8. You just check out the unit digit, multiply it by 3 times and see the unit digit. Easy? Okay. Now, let's talk about more properties. If I ask you, what is 10 cube? What is the answer? 10 into 10 into 10. So, we have 1000. So, here we are having 1, 0. But when we are doing its cube, then we have 1, 2, 3 zeros. Let's check out 100 cube students. This will be 100 into 100 into 100. So we can say how many? 6 zeros. So here we took 2 zeros and we are getting 6 zeros. Can you find any relation? 1 zero, 3 zeros here. 2 zero, 6 zeros. Yes, just 3 times 0 students. 3 times. So that is now quite simple. If zeros at the end of number is known, we can find the zeros at the end of cube number. How? If it is 1, just do the 3 times. So, 3 into 1 is 3. If the number is 2, number means, yes, zeros at the end of the number is 2, 0, 0. Then cube number will have how many zeros? 6, 3 times. So, if I say 3, it will be 9. And similarly, if the number has n zeros at the end, n zeros, it will have 3n zeros at the cube for the cube number. If I will cube this number now, how many zeros it will have at the end? 3n zeros. Simple logic? Okay. Now, let's talk about some patterns. Do you remember some patterns for square numbers? Forgotten. Okay, don't worry. Let's take this one. 1, 3, 5, 7, 9, 11, 13. If I just pick one number student, that can be written as 1 square. However, if we pick two numbers and add them, 1 plus 3, so we get 4 which can be written as 2 square. If I pick three numbers, 1, 3, 5 and add them, we will get 9 which is 3 square. If I will pick four numbers, 1, 3, 5, 7, its sum is how much? 16, that is equal to 4 square. Do you remember this pattern students? If we start from 1, taking 1 number, 1 square, 2 numbers, 2 square, 3 numbers, 3 square, 4 numbers, 4 square, right? 
Yes, and if five numbers we take, it will definitely be equal to twenty-five. That is equal to five square. But how can I talk about the cube numbers? See, if I want to create one cube, that is equal to one. For that, we have to pick just this number one, right? Okay. Let's try to do another case. Two cube. What is two cube? Eight. Try to find out how can I get eight? One plus three, four. No. Yes, three plus five. So that means now we have to move this three and five together. Suppose we take three cube. Three cube is twenty seven. See how you can get twenty seven sum. Twenty seven. Yes. Seven plus nine plus eleven. Okay. So can you see the pattern, students? Can you observe the pattern? See, this is one. This is starting from three plus five. Then seven plus nine plus eleven. Yes. So four cube will start from. Thirteen plus very good, and thirteen plus how many numbers? Four numbers. So thirteen plus fifteen plus seventeen plus nineteen. Because one cube is starting from one. After that, two cube. In two cube, we have two numbers. Three plus five. In three cube, three numbers. Seven plus nine plus eleven. Okay. So if I say five cube, it is one twenty five. It will start from the number after nineteen is twenty one. And how many numbers? Five numbers. So twenty one plus twenty three plus twenty five plus twenty seven plus twenty nine, and six cube is two one six. We will start from thirty one, and six numbers. So thirty one, thirty three, thirty five, thirty seven, thirty nine, forty one. What a beautiful pattern, students, for cube numbers. Amazing pattern, and we can have so many patterns, students. Okay, let's have some more. Here we have taken the number and cube of these numbers, and let's talk about these two cases and subtract them. Two cube minus one cube. It will be how much? Eight minus one, seven. See, actually we are doing random things. Even you can, you can get your own patterns also, student. There are infinite patterns for cube numbers. Scientists, what they do? They just see the table, okay, and then they try to find out, dig out something. Okay, so what now we are doing? Two cube minus one cube is seven. After that, what we will do? Definitely, we will take three cube minus two cube, and that is how much? Twenty-seven minus eight, nineteen. And let's continue the students. So now we will have four cube minus three cube, thirty-seven. Now next we will have what? Yes, five cube minus four cube. That is equal to sixty-one. Now let's see the pattern here, students. Can you observe any pattern here? Seven, nineteen, thirty-seven, sixty-one. Yes, if I just subtract one, we are having some beautiful numbers. Okay, so we can write seven as one plus six, one plus eighteen, one plus thirty-six, and one plus sixty. Now, if you observe this one, 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 that is a pattern. That is, these are one plus one plus one plus one plus something. Now, see, six, six is divisible by three. Eighteen divisible by three. Thirty-six divisible by three. Sixty also divisible by three. So let's do one thing. One plus what? Two into three. One plus six into three, one plus twelve into three, one plus twenty into three. Now we have to check out the pattern here: two, six, twelve, and twenty. Right? Okay. What I can write two as two into one. What I can write six, three into two. What I can write twelve, four into three. What I can write twenty, five into four. Wonderful pattern, right? So two can be written as two into one, six, three into two, twelve. Four into three, twenty. Five into four. So this is a pattern for the difference of numbers. Amazing pattern, students. Right? Okay. Now, why and how can we use them? See, two cube minus one cube is one plus two into one into three. You agree? Three cube minus two cube is one plus three into two into three. So I can find now twenty cube minus nineteen cube very easily. Instead of solving it manually, twenty cube, then nineteen cube, and then subtracting, no, we can write seeing this pattern as one plus twenty into nineteen into three. I know it's pretty easy. One plus twenty into three, sixty into nineteen. So this is equal to one plus one one four zero, and that is equal to one one four one. Similarly, if we talk about thirty cube minus twenty nine cube students, it is one plus. Thirty into twenty-nine into three. Now this can be further written as one plus thirty into three is nineteen to twenty-nine, and that is one plus two six one zero, and that is equal to how much? 
टू सिक्स वन वन सी हाउ ब्यूटिफुल बिकॉज वी नो दैटर्न वी फाउंड सच डिफिकल्ट कैलकुलेशन सो इजिली राइट ओके नाउ हु इज द स्टूडेंट्स रामानुजन एंड दिस इज अगेन अ साइंटिस्ट हार्डी साइंटिस्ट नाउ हार्डी साइंटिस्ट वंस अपॉन अ टाइम केम टू रामानुजन्स प्लेस यूजिंग अ टैक्सी and the taxi number was 1729 and he said this is a very dull number 1729 but ramanujan a very great intelligent scientist he said no 1729 is not a dull number it's very very interesting he said how how can you say hardy said how can you say it's a very interesting number he says see you know this table now see students that is why i always say you must remember because if you want to see some patterns you must remember these cubes by heart so you say 1729 is nothing but it is 12 cube plus 1 cube <laughs> 12 cube is 1728 and this is 1 cube he said so what had he said nothing special about it he said oh i'll give you one more special thing 1729 this number again can be written as What ten cube plus nine cube, thousand plus seven twenty nine. A single number, a single number can be written as sum of cubes of twelve cube plus one cube, and also ten cube plus nine cube. And later on, he found that we have many more numbers like this, and they follow a beautiful pattern that we can express them like this or even this. Okay. So let's do some brainstorming, students. Enough of properties and patterns. Let's revise something. So here we have some numbers, cubes of numbers, and we want to check which will be odd and which will be even. And you don't have to compute, <laughs> definitely, because we know the properties. What we will do? Yes, we just check the unit digit, right? If this number is odd, definitely its cube will also be odd. So this number odd or even? Odd. so its cube will also be odd this number 1324 even so 1324 cube will be even 211 again odd so its cube will also be odd 326 even so its cube will be even easy a simple property we have used now you have to see the pattern 7 cube minus 4 cube can be written as 7 minus 4 in one bracket in another bracket 7 square plus 7 into 4 plus 4 square That means whatever number you are writing here, okay. In first bracket, just subtract them. Seven minus four. In other bracket, seven square plus seven into four plus four square. Similarly, nine cube minus five cube can be written as nine minus five. Nine square plus nine into five plus five square. So if I ask you, how can I write eleven cube minus eight cube? What in this bracket? Eleven minus eight. Right. Okay. What about this? Yes. We will first write eleven square plus eleven into eight plus eight square. Okay. What is the unit digit of one two eight two whole cube? We will check the unit place two here. So two two is a four two is a eight. So here we will have which number, students? Eight. If number has five zeros at its end, how many zeros are in its cube? Five zeros at its end, so in its cube three times three fives are fifteen. So in this session, students, we are clear with the properties and patterns of cube numbers.